Hi guys, this is Rebecca and I'm going to be going over factorials. Now, this is how one represents a factorial. But don't get too excited, we say 5 factorial, not 5! A factorial is the product of an integer and all the integers below it. So, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which equals 120 and 4 factorial is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 so really we could represent 5 factorial as 5 times 4 factorial factorials are useful in situations in which one wants to count something without having to actually count all possible individual events you'll see what I mean Say there are nine individuals who all won the Honorable Mention Award at the Watermelon Eating Contest. Now, by random happenstance, all of them have the same name, so we can't order them alphabetically. Really, we can arrange them on the stage in any order. How many ways can we line up the nine people on the stage? Think of it this way. In the first position on the stage, there are nine possible people who could be there. In the next position, there are eight possible people because one person is already standing in the first place. And then in the next, there are seven possible people because the two people are already on the stage. And so on, until there's only one person left to fit on the stage in the last position. This creates the following equation. 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 which is equal to 9 factorial and, if you must know, 362,880. This problem was easily solvable with factorials. Now you can use factorials to solve other problems like it.